What's up, punks? Jay here, and, uh, well, we finished the cat. Let's get on the duck. Uh, we have another five sets of boxes this time, and hopefully if the shiny does show up, it'll actually show up in the latter ones, so I don't have to hatch a load of eggs that I know that will be shiny. <laughs> Alright, let's go! Now, obviously, tomorrow is Pokemon Day. And obviously, people are getting a bit excited about that. So, obviously, it makes sense to say that I'm going to be streaming the game, uh, streaming the broadcast, to basically show my reaction to things, and along with just so we could just have a general chat about it. Obviously, when you guys see it on YouTube, it'll probably be a few days. <laughs> There's a Charmander. Maybe I should get away from all... Oh, right, I remember. I said to myself I wanted to hatch these um, Quaxley eggs in Kitakame. Since I did for Coco and Paldea and Sprigatito in the Blueberry Academy. And while I'm waiting, I'm going to open up my wagon wheel. I wonder if you Americans know what a wagon wheel is. I have been muted this entire time, haven't I? Such an idiot. Oh, I'm, I don't even want to know how much that's how much of that I was muted for. Ugh. Good lord, man. So embarrassing. At least no one was here to see it. So yeah, everyone on YouTube, you have the delight of seeing um, whatever escapade of editing I do to make it not so completely stupid. I I don't believe it. Like I I'm really sorry. I don't think that much success. Oh, damn it, Rock Ruff. Again, why am I even saying that I'm not even supposed to be looking for him? Oh, good lord. Oh. That's probably when I was trying to make sure I wasn't hurting in that wagon wheel. Someone there? No. <sighs> Am I hearing things then? They be Jotonian whoopers. Nope. 
from now on I'm staying on the road. This is getting ridiculous now. Not even at Blueberry Academy this was a problem. Okay, now we're going to stay on this road as much as we can to avoid any Pokemon thinking they can take a fight. Nope. Let us carry on. Don't know where that high pitched bit of voice came from. See, a lot better now I'm staying on the road, and now it's just a regular swaddle. Nothing to worry about. You know, traveling around this building wouldn't be the worst idea. Yeah, this, this doesn't work. This isn't too bad. All right, we got a strategy, and no Pokemon will bump into us now. Bingo, that worked really well. Okay. The funny number's coming up soon. Fingers crossed. Yeah, I got you too, man. <laughs> Okay, this next egg's the big one, the funny number. We've got one in 500 chance of this being a really funny clip or a disappointing one. So, fingers crossed. See, look, I got my fingers crossed here, so. Come on, come on, number 69. Come on. No 69 this time. Hey, there's always 169. <laughs> that would be a little bit funny if it was 70. Why do I keep forgetting that? Whoops. Oops. 
This does seem like to work a lot, actually. That wasn't even proper wording or grammar, was it? Yeah. I think this it, this is working. No Pokemon encounters, and it's nice and quick. Yes, it is quiet. <laughs> nope. That there and uh, no one added anything. Of course, it didn't. <clears throat> I keep forgetting about that. Why are there so many swinums? Excuse me, love. I swear, if that same woman goes through my ride on again. That same woman keeps barging into me. She threw my head in. Break playing. Three more eggs out of this lot, good. Uh, just a heads up for everyone on Twitch if you see this. Uh, 
We are planning to at some point uh, set up a new schedule because at the moment we're realizing that uh, right now it's a bit. I'm saying this while there's another going on. <laughs> Okay, now that Twitch is back, even though there's only one viewer, um, we're planning to try and reschedule at least Sunday's streams and Monday's streams. Because I kind of realized recently that uh, the current schedule isn't kind of working with everyone's schedule anymore. And it's kind of making things a bit awkward. Nope. Ba -da 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 -ba -da. All right, we're getting to a rhythm now. Took me quite a while, but oh well. Come on, hatch already. That's what ducks do, they hatch. Keep doing it again, don't I? Nope. When we finish these um next three eggs, we'll do the stream raider thing. That same woman again, Jesus Christ. It's like a bad omen. Oh, I know somewhere else we could go. Come on. Come on, mate. Come on. Nope. Not long until the free digits start coming. What's a buster? Ooh, new skill. A uh, new character. Slice of life saint skin. Ooh, archers. Oh yeah, boy, we've unlocked busters. Do 
Just checking if we do have any skins for the characters we have. Nope. Yeah, uh, these guys next. Let's go for the monk. All right then. There should be a nice area where I can do this without getting interrupted up near where the Loyal Freeze Shrine was. Man, I really hate those legendaries. Yeah, this will do perfectly. Just a watering fun. <laughs> I guess it's got something to do with honor, because there are a couple um, cultures out there that like you to have clean feet, I think, when you pray. I think it's stuff like Buddhism. So obviously it's a good idea to keep a, a, like a tap outside so it's easy to um, wash your feet. If I'm wrong, please just let someone let me know in the comments or in the chat, because it's not com it's not rare that I'm wrong. <laughs> oh, excuse me. What is this? The TM for Toxic? I've never had Toxic before. Well, to be fair, I don't really use Toxic in battles. His name is Fudge Monster. Um, I was having a look at um, Twitter and there was a really good um, request I saw. A black and white remake in the style of the game Octopath Traveler. If you haven't seen that, it's like a RPG generic thing, but the way they did the pixel art, it makes it so modern yet so nostalgic at the same time. I'd love that to be in the black and white remakes. I mean remix, not remix. That's thing we need is a remix. That's the second box done.
Hmm. Forgot to log that Quaxley in. Next one. about that again. Right. And... Nope. As usual. But yeah, um... When it comes to the starters of this generation, I think I'd give them an 8 out of 10. And just for the record, Quaxley is the minus two from that score. Because, um, Skeletor is just carrying Masquerada, by the way. Like, it's like five, and then Masquerada's like... Three. <laughs> it's like, Skeletor just ticks a lot of boxes for me when it comes to a really good star Pokemon. The only downside I'd say to the Skeletor's line would be Crocolore. Uh, it's a bit derpy for my taste, but I can live with it. It's a skeleton. Miascarada. I I was originally gonna go for Miascarada first, but I kept hearing a lot of rumors slash leaks about um, you know, it's standing up. So I kind of um put my cards in the right area when it came to that, cause like. I was just going to say how much I've fallen. I wanted to pick Sobble over Rillaboom when Sword and Shield first came out. I made a mistake. I should have stuck with Grookey. Yeah, arguably though, I'd say that Galar is kind of my worst generation with starters. Because I can only ever see myself using one. Yeah, I've used Inteleon once or twice, because that was the first starter I chose in Galar. Cinderace I have used once, and I hated using it. It just felt so generic. But Rillaboom just ticks a lot of boxes for me with that. The Gen um, 7 starters. Um, that was an interesting case for me. Because um, when the promotions and hype was coming out for that. I was aiming towards... Uh, I think Litten being my starter, and it did. I enjoyed it. The main problem though was the Prime Arena line, because I didn't like it at first, especially Brion. I didn't like the way Brion looked. It looked too stereotypical. But then I just said, "What the heck? I'm bored of Rowlet and Litten. I'm gonna try Poppy off a run." It was amazing. As soon as it got to Prime Arena, it was kicking the floor down. It was so much fun to use. The fairy typing is such an added bonus to being a starter. I, it's unbelievable. And then Incineroar kind of lost its steam as time went on, because it, it was the whole Sprigatillo situation. But, you know, later on. It could have been a really cool Sabertooth cat looking thing for that. And yeah, I get that it needs to be Hawaiian themed, but I don't think wrestling is really a Hawaiian thing. 
let me know in the comments if I'm wrong about that, but at least as far as I know, wrestling isn't a part of Hawaiian culture. I know I've got some kind of fighting ritual, but I know it doesn't involve leotards and act, act, wrestling acting. Okay, Egg 100, come on. Let Egg 100 be it. And wow, that's actually a good pan shot of Mariah. Come on, come on. Nope. And there we go. That's 100 eggs hatched. I could do some decent duck spring rolls here. I got a full fledged business of making a duck spring rolls. This is going to take a while, isn't it? Air catching, here we go. Alright, it's um... The Gen 6 starters is like, it's a bit like how um, Galar works, but a bit more positive. Because obviously everyone including their grandma likes Greninja. But, like, get the pitchforks out now if you want to, but I like Fennekin. Like, I like Fennekin, I like Breaks, and I like Delphox. And I'm not that kind of person either, calm down. But it's kind of a case where it's not exactly one sided if it's a gender, because it's more of a sorcerer than a witch. And obviously, you can be different genders when it comes to a sorcerer. So I, I don't get why people were thinking it was too feministic. Like, a lot of sorcerers have cloaks that big. Have you seen Merlin? Gandalf? Dumbledore? There are a lot of sorcerers out there that have really long capes. Or cloaks or whatever they are. So, when I see that I've got a uh, male Fennekin, it's not the worst thing. And then the chest pin line, I've just never, like, like I've only used it once and I did not like it. It just felt so stiff to use. Like, like a one-trick pony sort of thing. Like, you always had to use, like, a flying type move, a grass type move, like Seed Bomb, Spiky Shield, maybe one coverage move, and that's it. It was boring to use. The Gen 5 stars are a bit more in-depth of me, as well. You know, Beginning generation, blah blah. Obviously, I've been prone to like Samar up more because I've been enjoying that the most. I like Superior as well, but it's a weird case because Embor I've grown not to like, but I feel like I need to like him because he, he was my first daughter. And true, my first ever star toy I accidentally released, but we'll not get into that. Either way, and just to add as well, I didn't know I didn't save, so I could have technically got him back. 
I was a very s stupid child. So yeah, um... It is an awkward phase with the Gen 5 games. Now, Gen 4, Torterra is supreme. I understand that Infernape has its qualities, and I like them. But Torterra is just amazing. Amazing design. It works amazing. And I'm sorry to a certain person I know who will skew on me for this, but I just don't like Empoleon. I, I just really don't like it. Just looks like a really derpy penguin. I I like Piplop, but I hate Primplop and Empoleon. Now, the Hoenn stars, Bob Blaziken, are like the most neck and neck out of the two. It's because Swampert is amazing, and as I've said in the past, before Rillaboom showed up, Sceptile is my favorite starter. It was so fun to use, especially in Auras when you can Mega Revolve it. Forget Charizard again, the Dragon type. Sceptile loves using the Dragon type. It's just so fun to use. Johto, I've had the least amount of experience with when it comes to its starters, because I've only ever used one, and that's Cyndaquil. And, uh, basically, um, that's it. Like, I've only ever used Typhlosion once. I want to use Feraligator in the future, and frankly, if tomorrow announces that there's going to be a Johto remake, then yeah, I will use Toto Dial as my starter. You are not shiny. I, uh, undercounted. This should be the third box, right? Yeah. Just thinking on top of my head. And then with the Kanto starters, um, yeah, Charizard's too overhyped for me to like it anymore. And it's it's just a neck and neck race between uh, Blastoise and Venusaur. And at the moment, v uh, Blastoise is winning. I'm sorry for you, Charizard fans, but yeah, it's too overhyped to like. Frankly, every time he gets a distribution or a special event or a special card or a special form in the main gimmick, I roll my eyes. Because <laughs> he gets too many, he gets too much attention. Thirteen. Nope. To be fair, that is a very unlucky number. Just checking if I had enough there. Um, sorry. Bye-bye. 
RPM. When it comes to uh, Pokemon related content, obviously we've got the rest of the Academy Challenge to do. But obviously, as the case of what we're doing in replacement of community uh, streams. Obviously, right now, um, we're trying to stall until everyone's in a state where they're okay to do things. Which I think might be in April when that happens, unless Baldur's Gate gets an update. Because I think only one of us needs to get Baldur's Gate specifically, and then we can play that until it's time for, to play Sea of Thieves. Yeah. But until then, I'm just going to have to do improvisational stuff, like on Pokemon. I have got a few ideas in my head when we've found Quaxley. But it is going to be determined on the information we find out tomorrow. And let's hope it's egg 116 for this shiny. It is not. Ba -da 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 -ba -da. Oh, and also, uh, my, I think the only um, stream during the week that we're certain about would probably be the the single player VOD streams. Yeah, they need to be rearranged to a different t day of the week, but we have a lot of ideas of what we could do back to back on each other. Especially now that we're going to get back into Persona 5 Tactica. Hi Fi Rush is um, coming to PlayStation. A lot of things, really. We're still planning to do that new game plus of Persona 5 Royal, and I'm hoping to platinum that game, so... Again, just a uh, nope. <coughs> the fuck did that come from? I do believe this is the fourth box. Yep. We're in the second half of it now, lads. I still feel embarrassed about the whole microphone thing. Wondering if we will have enough time to do another stream raiders in an, after the next one. Okay, that one looked a little bit convincing. Like I, I can tell it isn't shiny, but because of the shading, it looked closer to it.
Come on, 124. Come on, a nice clean 124. Come on, come on. Nope. I will find you. And I will kill you. I won't kill him, but I feel like I need to, because this is driving me coco crazy. I'm gonna have the ducks, not cuckoo buddies. And it is so very quiet. There we are. Go on, a nice healthy 126. 126, come on. One, two, six, here we go. No. Ow. Why did I do that? I hit my head for not my head. Hey, I'm walking here. Hey. Hey, what? What's the idea? Hey, not sure if you're here, Maxi, but thank you for the follow on Freds. Really appreciated it. I hope you stop by the stream at some point. Let's test a command, actually. Yep, that good. Yep, that adds up. I will find the duck. But I am not the Elma Fad. Because he goes for rat wabbits, not ducks. And it looks like after this egg, we'll be doing stream raiders. It's a damn night. It's it really played with me there. Why does my mouse keep disappearing? Hang on.
Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Right. Five units, eh? Let the battle begin. Ooh, rainbow sparkly person. And East DC wins that one. I like a Bravo Badger. If that's a. <laughs> I don't know. Huh. Okay. I'll ignore that for now. Come on, hurry up. I get. Okay. What do I do about the whole thing about my glasses shining? F um things over like that. Yep, ad break, we'll be back in a minute. Precisely, apparently. And why does my phone keep flipping turning on? There you go. Like, yeah, but th the way it is now on the screen, that's fine. But when I look at it properly... So I'm just gonna have to stay like this for the whole time, aren't I? So I can't really look at the camera properly, because look, in my face. Please be shiny. I want shiny Pokemon. The duck. I need the duck. <sighs> the 
the, the lucky yawn has not prevailed. Yeah, there you go. Like that, that I'm fine. So maybe I stay. Keep my head like this. Come on, one free six. No, one free six. I mean, one free seven. Sorry. Or have I missed count again? Counted. My mistake. I don't know why I'm starting to yawn all of a sudden, focus. Hokey pokey focus. Come on, it's one out of 500. Alright, 510. We're still under odds. I can't really say that anymore now that we're under the odds of um, Masuda Method. Eh, give it a couple of weeks, we'll probably catch up. It's gonna be a lot of duck eggs. Luckily for me, about that, what happened with that nose pass earlier, I already had one from the um, Kitakame challenge. So I'm not exactly losing out on a shiny, am I? One more on this batch. Again, apologies for the yawn. Nope. Hmm. Cause when I had something. No, I didn't want a picnic. I wanted my box open. You are not it. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. One forty two. Shiny correctly at one forty two eggs. Just 
checking the camera, that's all. Actually, maybe I need to do it so it's easier for me to have my head like this. There. Nope. Yeah, that, that's better, and I don't have to completely move my head all the way down now. I nearly hit the swine up. Again, I'm sorry, I don't know why I keep yawning. One more. Okay, we're gonna try something a bit risky here, but well. Hmm. Interesting. Scarecrow only on average has that low of a view count. And isn't he like a big pokey tuber, pokey streamer? Something to think about. Don't know why, but I just want to show you this um, statue of a Bagon I have. I bought it from the Pokemon Center as well. It's called Hope. I'm not joking, that's actually what the name of the statue was called, Hope. 
Obviously, it's the whole lore thing that Bagon wants to fly, blah, blah. I gotta have hope myself. Something just popped up on my phone, it was weird. It said, Swamper is the goal. Okay. I think we could get to 169 with these next 30 eggs. Yeah, because we'll finish at 180. Sorry, it's just my phone keeps turning on out of nowhere asking for a pin or saying that like, I've scanned it too many times even though it's like across the table. It's annoying as hell. That's quite away from me, isn't it? 151, the original Pokedex number. Come on, 151, 151, 151? No. A person can dream, a person can dream. Tablet was charging the entire day, but I didn't realize it was an improperly. <laughs> Look at the bottom left. I have company. One more egg and I went out to the next five. <clears throat> It would be really nice if we find it in the first um, stream, but I highly doubt the next 25 eggs are going to have it. Come on. I can't say 1 in 510 because we still haven't reached 510 yet. Why do I keep been going to that? I can only complain about the odds when I've gone over the odds. So, we're still good. It's just... I'm just being annoyingly impatient. Yeah. There's no denying it. I have lots of problemos. 
Uh, not exactly something I can fix with a hammer and nail. One fifty six. No. One fifty seven. Please. Nope. Wait, no, no. Don't need to do that yet. I haven't hatched the next egg yet. something to consider thinking about actually one fifty eight one fifty eight nope it's nearly morning in game time My mind is playing tricks on me with this at this point. I, I honestly thought that was it then for some reason, but it's... Oh, my phone will stop. Please. My phone... Can my phone please stop turning on whenever it wants to? I think I'm just... Oh, my God. I think I need a minute. I need a minute. It does feel like a rough situation, but I'll keep going. It's determination, if anything. For a minute, I thought I didn't put the eggs in the um, party again. Come on. It's gotta be another funny number, right? It's gonna be 169. Big funny number. Yeah, it's gonna be a big funny number, isn't it? Nope. Didn't even get a chance to say 162. It really just says something when, at the moment, Skeletor, uh, Shiny Foy Coco was the shortest with 32 eggs. Meowskerada is the longest with 1,052. Was it 1,054? I can't remember. And, I don't know, with Quacks yet, yeah, it could be a right smack dab in the middle of them. Or for all we know, it could be higher than Yaskarada and we could have like a 3,000 egg hunt. That does feel like how this could go. 
and I was using a bit of reverse psychology for that one, I admit. <laughs> There's not much you can do, you've got no communication or no chat to bounce off of. <laughs> Here we go. This next set of eggs will involve egg number 169. Let's hope it's a funny number, Shiny Hutch. One sixty six is not shiny. Will one sixty seven be shiny? No, it will not. Come on, guys, change it up. Blue soap last season. Dye your hair to cyan. Then things will be nice and groovy for you. I'm sure one of you will understand that one, right? Right? 168. Nope. Okay. Time to hatch. Egg number 169. Fingers crossed, come on. Funny number, funny number, funny number, funny number. Come on, come on, please. Please. No, and the funny number again. It is so mean these days. That is not what I am looking for. Ten eggs to go. One seventy one. Nope. One sixty 
172. I feel like that's a reference to something, but I don't think. No. Why am I getting so worked up about this? Like, these sort of things are supposed to take a bit. As Sprigatito made a perfect example of. One seventy-three. Seventy-four. Nope. And we'll do a stream raiders thing when we're done. Come on, let the sacred horn of the stream raiders give me shiny luck. Please, I just want a duck with dyed hair. Even though it's bleached, ble even though it's more of a bleached set of hair, isn't it? Okay, last five eggs. Please make them count. Please make them count. Five units against wheat. Oh, actually, let's do stream raiders now before we hatch these. Get okay. Let the battle begin. that person? Oh, it's that person again. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't know where that came from. Sorry about that. Okay, no more stream raiders now. I won't have enough time. Like, these next five eggs will be the last eggs of the stream, so... Five. 
four. Come on, come on, give me give me some good luck here guys. We're gonna do this. We are gonna do this. And I was gonna redeem myself from the fact that I muted myself for at least 20 minutes of the first beginning of the stream. Free. No. No. Now, I call upon all the famous ducks in media. Daffy Duck, Donald Duck, Scrooge McDuck, Daisy Duck, Huey, Dewey, and Louie, Launchpad McQuack, Gyro, whatever his name was, uh, Daffy Duck again, uh, were there any other ducks in Looney Tunes? Were there any other ducks in general in all of media? Uh, that film, Migration. Please, please work for me, please. 180 eggs. Come on. Come on. Come on. The universe hates me today. Yeah. Ah, well. We gave it a good go. It's always next week. 150 Quaxleys hatched. No shiny. But, like I said, we gave it a good go. And we shall try again next week. And hopefully we shall get it a lot sooner than when we found Sprigatito. So for now, That'll be the end of the stream, guys. I hope everyone enjoyed it. And uh, if you liked my content, please consider liking and subscribing. It means a lot. The channel's still growing every day. And we're hoping to get an audience this year, so who knows? We might get it. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. See ya.